Welcome to the Holocron cast. This is episode one, the Phantom <laughs> Podcast. This is the inaugural, <laughs> the inaugural episode. So we are working out kinks and doing what we do. Hopefully, eventually, we'll make this thing uh, as good as humanly possible, audio-wise, video-wise, etc. But we are here to talk about Star Wars today. Specifically Ahsoka. So, Ahsoka. Which should just be Rebel Season 5. Um, wow. Season one of Ahsoka was kind of crazy, man. Like it, it, it changed Star Wars in in some ways, you know. And I don't see, you know, I. Oh, it's spot. Let's see what happens. Oh, am I in? Am I in? Yeah. I, oh, you're in. Oh yeah, you're in. All right, there. Oh yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I was just kind of ranting about Ahsoka, and then you popped in. So yeah, like what? I mean, how? I feel like Ahsoka really changed Star Wars in a lot of ways, but in good ways too. You Fantastic know? ways. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities now. Like like. I mean, all right. So let me ask you, what were your, what are your favorite things about what happened in Ahsoka and what that could mean for Star Wars? I would say definitely opening it up to a whole new galaxy. That was just, it's just amazing. Yeah, straight up, straight up, whole fucking new one. I actually, I would say my favorite part of the whole series was Hunt. I loved how Hu Yang was like in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> That's exactly what I was gonna say. That was my favorite part of the entire series. Him yeah. right there in a galaxy far, far away, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Yeah, that was awesome. So, like, okay, I mean, so a lot of it is obviously based on Filoni's, you know, re- you know, Rebels and a lot of the stuff he was doing with Rebels, you know. Um, like as far as like the Mortis gods and you know Wolf. the the father, the son, and the daughter. Yeah. Um. Obviously, they they're they're coming into play at some point. You saw Balin at the last episode. Uh, I believe uh, that had to be the father statue mountain M- Mount it was Rushmore. The father, the brother, the sister was already took yeah. down because this, she died. Yeah, we, it's, More I, I, I was flying around. Oh yeah, I know. I see more ride too. Yeah, and uh, you know, yeah. I was wondering if that was why they, you know, they did that with the. Is it the sister or the daughter? The daughter. Wait, hold on. No, it is? sister. Sister. Is, yeah, because is, a sister and brother, right? I don't know. What is it? I can't remember. It's either he's the son, and she's the uh, the daughter, or it's it's brother gotta be the daughter. The daughter, the son, and the daughter. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, we. Uh, if you didn't know, the daughter represents the light side, and well, yeah, I know you know. I'm talking to the audience. Yes, obviously. And, but uh, uh, you know, and the yeah. son represents the dark side, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the father is the balance. Father is the balance. Yes. At which I feel like Anakin is right now. I think he is set to take over that position. And and it's kind of wild because you know Vader in I believe it's German means, means father. father. Yep. Yeah. So and I yo I loved how like he literally bring he brought balance to the force. Straight up. Like, I'm scared like, that like, this is his final performance. A lot of people are the way he phrased that interview by saying that it brought his character full circle, speaking in past tense a lot. Mm-hmm. Has to be worried that we're not going to get Hayden Christensen as Anakin anymore, which would ruin that uh, whole him becoming father, Ahsoka being the daughter. I I mean, even though even even if he said that, 
you know, I feel like at the same time, that also just means that, you know, they wrapped up filming, you know, and that think, part is done. You yeah, know what I'm I, saying? I, like, I get that part. I'm, it just has me a little bit scared because we just got him you. back. Because that, yo, <laughs> that, that fight with Ahsoka and then the oh, Clone Wars live action stuff. And that then, was so dope. Oh my God. Like that, that episode right there was like, whoa man like it, it blew my mind and Indeed. yo hayden christensen is still a beast on that fucking lightsaber bro the like, best. like you could you could tell you could tell how fucking with that shit and how much training he had in it even i mean i'm sure they refreshed his training but like just from yeah. probably doing the prequels you know what i mean like he literally like i mean you rosario dawson couldn't keep up she was kind of slow if you look <laughs> Back at the yeah. episodes, like sh- her fighting style's mad slow. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, but I think that's just because the actress herself can't really necessarily keep up. If you he fully, pre- yeah, exactly. If he, if if he really pressed, I'm pretty sure he would show her up in a heartbeat. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. If that was like a today. real lightsaber fate, that wasn't a scripted thing. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, Anakin would have had her in no time. She wouldn't have I was just watching shit. his his practice for whenever he killed Count Dooku. I was watching his practices from before they actually filmed it. Man, yeah, just yeah. the way he was dropping that lightsaber and catching it with the other fucking hand. Oh man, yeah, that's how awesome. you know they they really went hard. They really went hard with that training for that. You didn't lose a step either. I mean, we saw it in the Obi Wan series. Now we see it here in Ahsoka. He's still yeah one of the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it's cool, too, that, like, Hayden Christensen is getting his flowers and his props now because for a long time, people were really hating on him, you know? Everyone hated on him. Just just because that was the only thing that people could hate on at that time for Star Wars, you know what I mean? Yeah, the sequel trilogy came out. (laughs) Darth Jar Jar. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Which, you know, I also thought was cool that they brought, what's his name, the guy that played uh, Jar Jar? Yeah, uh, back as the, back the play, Jedi um, that saved Grogu. I was just watching that earlier today too. I was watching the whole every execution and escape from Order sixty six. I was watching that yesterday. Um, yeah. Damn, what is his name? I should know his name. Uh, it's oh, I can't think of it either, man. But exactly, it's horrible. It starts with a B, I want to say, but I can't remember what what the hell it is. For some reason, I want to say Balin Calhoun, but I know, I know that, right? <laughs> Balin. <laughs> no, oh, I know what it is. Ahmad Best. Ahmad Best. Yeah, that's the actor. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. At first, I was like, "Who in the fuck is that?" You know. <laughs> Because, I mean, you don't, you obviously, he's Jar Jar, yeah. so you, you know what I mean? Unless, like, unless you watch before. the Star Wars TV show they did with him being that other Jedi character, you had no idea who the fuck he was. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, like, yeah, man, like, but <laughs> I feel like, you know, you know, like, you know, I've seen some of the reviews, too, that people that look at it negatively, like, uh, I don't know if you've ever watched the Critical Drinker, his channel. It's like this Irish uh, dude that it. is a drinker, obviously, and he does. He just critics movies, you know what I mean? And he's yeah. pretty funny. He's 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 actually I actually like him. He, he's he's entertaining as hell. But he is definitely not a fan of Star Wars, like uh, you know <laughs> Disney Star Wars. Like he loves Star Wars, but he feels like you know he's one of the people that hates the Disney you know, ones. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Is he at and, least a you prequel know, apologist? Huh? Does he appreciate the episodes one, two, and three? Oh Is yeah. Is he a prequel yeah, 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 apologist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Cool. Cool. It's I'm the good. Disney part. You can hate yeah. on Ray all you want. I don't care. Just don't hate on Anakin. Sorry. No. Yeah. You can't hate on Anakin. Nobody can hate. Yeah. He, in fact, in the video that I was because he was re- recapping the season of Ahsoka, and uh, he was like, he that was really the only positive thing he really he had to say about it all. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was 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 Hayden Christian and Adams again. And but he did the only negative side he brought up about it was that, you know, they used it as like clickbait essentially. You know what I mean? Like, oh, we got Anakin back. Yeah, but the story still value. sucks. Type shit. You know what I mean? That's kind of the shit he was on. But uh, 
You know, like I, I don't know. I just, I think me personally though, I feel like the, the future is bright for Star Wars. Like, there's so many avenues Great. they could take now. Oh yeah. I feel now we so need someone to come in here and drop that bright light sound. All of the lights. Word. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All of the lights. Yo, it was it was really cool though. I really like what what were some of your favorite parts of parts of uh, of Ahsoka other than Anakin? Obviously, Anakin was the shit. That was really like the main attraction. A long time ago, <laughs> in a galaxy far, far. Yeah. Again. <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, it, it, fucking Ezra getting Kanan's other piece. Oh dope. yeah, that was cool. Yeah, yeah. I wish they would have brought Ezra in a little earlier, though. I feel like, okay, I feel like they could have done like two more episodes. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, they could have used could've... a little bit more Ezra. Yeah, yeah, not even just for Ezra, but just to flesh out a couple other things. You know what I mean? Like, like, uh, like you know, like let me let me think of an uh, like, like some. Yeah, I think they're saving a lot of that like... stuff. All the talk we wanted to see him yeah. have with the bean. Like, we didn't get that loving connection because that was saved for whenever he got back to the galaxy. So I don't think we got that educational connection where he finds out about all the details because it's being saved for right. season two when he's back here and now he's got to deal with all the shit and they're still out there. I'm curious how that's going to work with Luke or if they're even going to bring Luke back at all. I feel like they really need to bring Luke back for the Heir of the need Empire. To. I'm just going to call it Heir to the Empire and tell Filoni to do something else. Yeah. But, sure. but, you know, Disney Heir to the Empire. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just feel like... Um, I think it would be really cool, though, to see... Uh, I don't know. See, I don't know if they're going to... What do you think? Do you think they're going to do a season two or do you think they're going to go straight like from Mando season four into the Thrawn movie? I think they're definitely going to do a season two before the movie. You think so? But I want to know where, where Hugh Yang got all of his kyber crystals from. Huh? I heard he had... Like, I read somewhere that he he holds them on him. He has them in, like, like on, on him. him. Well, that's cool. I can see that. Like, I don't know if they're just, like, unused ones that haven't been used yet, or if they're, like, collected from dead ones, dead Jedi. Yeah, what is the name of his T6? I can't remember that either. T6? What are you talking about? His T6. His Jedi ship. Oh, the T6. okay, okay. It's not Ahsoka's. Ahsoka's was 1974, really? 1974. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. All that time. Was, Remember, she even she... said that you've been keeping it. For, I thought it was the, the 1974. That's what I thought it was. Until that's she said, she said you've been that's, keeping you it. You want to see a Jedi starship? <laughs> yeah, exa- yeah, because so that's, that's a Jedi Yang ship. Yeah. Now, she also had one, oh, but hers was the 1974. Sense. Which I thought they were on the 1974 until she told him, you've been keeping this flying longer than I've been alive. Which means that's his that he's had for thousands of years. Damn. Damn. Yeah. I like Hu Yang. He's a good... I think they're going to bring him into the High Republic stuff that they do. I think... What is the Acolyte? Is the Acolyte supposed to be High Republic? Yeah, I think it, I think it goes back to the High Republic. Not Old and Republic, gonna, High Republic. High Republic. And I think they're going to be I want to say, what is it? Old Republic? And, and timeline-wise, it's Old Republic, then High Republic, then the regular Republic, right? And then the Empire. Uh, yeah, where's that? Damn. I can't remember where Acolytes fits now. I was just watching the whole... What, <laughs> and now it's all gone. Mm. What's so, like, all right. So... Do you think, think that the they're gonna bring Jedi Luke back? One, though? Right? They better bring huh? Luke back. I know they're doing the original Jedi. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. The movie, one of the movies. Yeah. <laughs> Which we actually saw in the mosaic in the Jedi Temple. One that was half black, half white. Uh I'm not sure what you're referring to. Are you talking about the one on Octo? Octo? 
Yeah, on the, the Jedi Temple when Ray was there. Yeah, the Oct- she went digging through yeah, stuff and Oct- down on the bottom there was the original Jedi there. Half yeah. of it was white, half of it was black, meaning that he was finding balance and Jedi wasn't meant to be just light. Right, exactly. That's that's obviously a lot of the message that they're they're trying to push now is the nuances of it. You know what I mean? Instead of just yeah. good versus evil. You know what I mean? Like that's why yeah, I like Balin so much. Balin too. Balin's yeah. like. He's still, a, you can tell Balin was like hurt, literally hurt by a, one, having to kill Ahsoka. Or yeah, he one, didn't want a Jedi to he die. Was killing Ahsoka. Like, he didn't want to kill no more Jedi, you know what I mean? He obviously was super attached to yeah. to the, the Order, you know? But like, you know, he... Also, I think he I may find he, it a shame for positivity to be stomped out. I mean, he may not be a fucking Jedi Jedi all for the light and shit, but he also isn't totally bad. And it would be a shame to have another flame in the dark be stomped out. Right, right, right. And man, it's a shame that Ray Stevenson died, dude, because he was dope. Balin is dope, bro. He was perfect. And I don't know. I don't know if they'll recast him, bro. They may just leave him up on that mountain and we'll never know what happened. Oh, I don't want him to be recast, but I don't want that to be the end of this character storyline either. I know it's it's kind of double edged sword, man. But like, but they, I mean, if they cast the right person, cool. But like, that's gonna be tough, bro. Like, cause he really made that shit right. Oh, he was perfect for it. I don't know, Q. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I don't know what happened to him, man. <laughs> I'm kind of upset about it, to be honest with you. What about Alec? What are you doing, Alec? What do you think about this? Alec, what do you think about this? (laughs) And I definitely want to get his knowledge on, on like, this, uh, like, I know you had some ideas, too, but, like, I definitely want to get his ideas on, you know, segment-wise, how we should really, you know, make this, you know, move along you know things like that like Absolutely. should we do like a section of the of the podcast dedicated to one certain subject you know what i mean yeah and then should we do more you know segments that are dedicated to other subject you know what i mean just different you know what i mean like he probably would have a better you know idea of what we might should do for that but um yeah i bet you would huh I bet you he would. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So I don't know what happened to him. Hopefully he'll pop up here in a few, but uh, if not, it's all good. We'll see him on Wednesday, I guess. Oh, yeah, definitely. Huh? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's all good. We do. Yo, something... Something's going on with your. I mean, you. It's been happening. You know that, but you, you're you're cutting out here and there, and it kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's what we're gonna do. Is that better? I mean, so far. We'll see how that works. I don't know if it'll. It's so far. It seems good. But um. So let's see. What else? What else? Uh. All right, Thrawn. How did you feel about Thrawn? The portrayal, the whole everything. What did you What did you feel about Thrawn? Absolutely perfect. Exactly what I wanted out of Thrawn. Think, yeah. Absolutely. Another thing. Another thing that dude, uh, critical drinker, said. You know, he was he. I, I wanted. Maybe it was somebody else. I can't remember. But uh, they were they they weren't totally happy with the portrayal of Thrawn just because they were super oh it's this dude Generation Tech have you ever seen his channel no I don't think I have it's an Asian dude uh, but he's like he talks like about like like the politics of Star Wars the ships like super technical stuff about it like like yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to send you his channel it's mad interesting he's fucking I love dope, Star bro. Wars politics I'm all about that Oh, you cut out again. What'd you say? I love Star Wars politics. I'm all about that. Yo, and yo, that's another that's another thing. Andor. Andor was the shit. Definitely. 
like I loved how they handled that shit. Like it was cool, man. Like I, with Ma Mothma having her little episodes, you know, because that was really the first time anybody really got to see what Ma Mothma was that was like was like at all, like, you know, like. And now we know that she was she's definitely like the chancellor, right, of the New Republic. Oh yeah, she she calmed down her ways, but we see that Leia picked it up because she ended up going off and starting her own rebels and still continuing the fight. Yeah, that's what the re- the resistance was. Yep. Yep. She definitely just picked that up. But my mom might kind of. I like chill how out. they named. I think she got complacent, like everyone else. No, you know what? She it's because they demilitarized the New Republic too fast, bro. Yeah, but I'm I saying mean, like, I know that the secret it state showed her like you know wanting to just settle for a shit just so there's peace instead of oh yeah, fight like she was yeah. doing in Andor. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, and that's probably what led to the downfall and the, and the rise of the First Order. You know. I don't even know. I wonder what happened. I wonder if Mon Mothma is even still alive during that time. We'd have to get a super nerd. I don't even think that knowledge is out there yet. (laughs) No idea. (laughs) But, uh, yeah, man, like, and then, all right, let's talk about the sequel trilogies a little bit. You know what I mean? Okay, so, like, when you first, when you, all right, for me, The Force Awakens... I was so hype. And then even the movie itself, I liked it. I thought it was dope. Absolutely. Yeah. I was excited for the next one. Me too. Just like just like I was excited for the next one after Phantom Menace and the next one after Attack of the Clones. I, you know yeah, I, mean? I liked them all. Uh, I mean, Disney yeah. or not, I fucking liked it. I thought it was well, fucking dope. I mean, yeah, good. me too. I, I liked them all. Ram was played well. I liked them all, but I do have some gripes with how some things were done. Oh, mainly, the, mainly Luke Skywalker. <laughs> like, right, he turned into like this little bitch. Yo, they did him dirty, man. They did they him did. dirty. They did. They, that's why I hope they, he comes back in like Ahsoka and shit. Like he needs to be saying, one of the like, ones I've, with them. I feel like that's what's them. gonna happen. I feel like in the movie he's gonna be like. I think by that time they're gonna have the the what you call it the deep fake shit the yeah they'll the, have it all the, locked the aging shit down so good to the where we're like we'll actually be able to see like a real Mark Hamill Luke Skywalker Absolutely. you know what I mean like and that it would I, I really hope they bring him into the story because if they don't man like that's gonna that's gonna suck because what I mean what else is Luke doing? Right. With if Thrawn is threatening the galaxy, yeah, right. he's doing his Jedi thing. But he's but this is the point in his life where he's still like a Jedi. <laughs> we're pumping that shit up. You know, he ain't carrying a blue lightsaber. He's carrying that green. He got the, yeah, he got the green. Yeah, <laughs> he's out there doing shit. <laughs> Say what? He's out there doing shit. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, and yeah, he he he's starting the new Jedi Order. Obviously, it didn't work out with Grogu, but uh, so yeah. like, so yeah, he's starting his new. But I know during this time period also that he uh is he's like scouring the galaxy looking for Jedi relics and you know things like that. You know, yeah. So like I don't know I don't know if that's actually happening during this right now timing with Ahsoka and the Mandalorian because I know uh, I I believe I read that the Mandalorian season three and Ahsoka ha- are happening simultaneously if not yeah. like directly I, after. I so, always uh, you know I was like when they were going to hyperspace I was looking over for a little N one. Trying to find yeah. fucking Grogu waving at the purgle, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That would have been dope. Because, <laughs> I mean, we looked over and we saw the purgles. So when they were going through it, I wanted to, you know, look over there and see a little N1 somewhere yeah. flying through. Hell yeah. And one with that little Yo, bubble. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the little <laughs> bubble with, with Grogu. Just, <laughs> yeah, but, uh... You know what? I think it's uh, you know, I think Mando season four is gonna tie up, tie a lot of shit in too. 
because we know yeah. now that Mando was uh he is now part of the New Republic via uh Captain Tabor, which was also in Ahsoka. Yeah. Which I like how they did that. They crossed that over with, with uh, you know, Ahsoka and Mando. So now we know for sure that uh that that, you know, that shit's all connected. We knew it was connected, but like he really made it yeah. connected. I kinda like that character too, Captain Table. He's like the only like like regular rebel other than, you know, Hera's a general, but he's like a regular rebel. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, or or new republic officer now. And, I wish uh, we had seen Zeb like still, show up though. You, the Rangers of the New Republic. Yeah, but I mean, I wish we had seen him show up in in fucking Ahsoka in Rebel season five. You know what I'm saying? Why why didn't Zeb yeah, at least yeah, make yeah. a cameo, a little something? Yo, for real, for real. Why was he in Mando and then not in fucking Ahsoka? I don't get I'm, that at all. I don't understand I why this show's even called Ahsoka. Me neither. It really should be called Rebel Season 5, but live action. But that's, I, I mean, that's literally, that's probably why it's not, because it's live action. But they but, could uh, have figured out something else to call it besides just one of the characters. What would you have called it? I would, what, let me see, let me hear what you would call it first. Hmm, damn. You're going to lay a, know, a fucking right? felony thing on me. Hard. Um... <laughs> Let's see. We can't call it Rebels anymore. What about, um... Um... Damn. Damn. I know, it's tough, Damn. Right? Damn, because they're good stuff, but nothing that actually fits it perfectly. That, nothing that's worthy of it. Ahsoka yeah, kind of um, is like a name that is worthy of it, even though it doesn't feel yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, it matches. really Ahsoka was the probably the, the the only choice that you know they probably said the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Give me, give me one, give me one day, and I'll come up with something. <laughs> Not tomorrow. Right. I'll think of something Word. that this show should have been Word. called. Cause I didn't even no, think of yeah, but I don't. I don't. I mean, it could have been Thrawn too. Well, no, not Thrawn. He wasn't in it enough. How about Heir to the Empire? Heir nice. to the Empire. That yeah, they might as well have. Right. They might as well have, but they may they may literally save that title for the movie. Yeah. Oh, yo, what about the witches? What about Dathomir? What about the fact that we're watching a whole nother type of using the force that is technically stronger than the Jedi? They don't need to carry te- weapons yo, around with them. I like it. I you like do. it because you I feel do. like it's a new enemy that, and it's an enemy that nothing, that nobody in the Star Wars universe has ever seen. Unless you, know you watch Rebels. Like, they, I mean, I, I meant, yeah. I mean, if you've seen Rebels, yeah. yeah. But I'm saying like, <laughs> but that type of, but that type of magic, you know what I mean? It's the, it's not the Force. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not using the Force. I mean, they may be, but it's a different. I don't even they think are. that's they're the force, using bro. A diff- They are. They're using the force. It's just a different way of using the force. Yes, it's the force. Right. It's just a different way of oh, using another, the force. Another another. If you theory notice that in I the have. video game, in the video game, whenever we see them as teleporting, but in the video game, it looks more like hyperspace tunneling. Because you get to do it. You get to jump. You get to teleport as one of the Dathomir sisters or whatever the fuck. And it looks more like you're creating a hyperspace it's not teleport like everyone else sees. So they're just oh. using, just like the Purgle is using the Force to hyperspace. They're using really? it, but they can use it to conjure weapons. Like, they don't have oh, to carry shit. shit around with them. They can just make a sword. That's what the, tal- the what was it, Talisman? Talisman? The Blade of Tal- Talisman? Yeah, Mother Talisman. Yeah, Talisman. Just pull yeah. that shit out of the fucking thin air. She didn't need to just carry it around with her. She could just I create know. it when she needed it. Yo, bro, yeah, so that's what I'm saying, though, like, the, the, the witches of Dathomir, bro, and, oh, the great mothers or whatever, like, that's an awesome, like, even if they beat Thrawn, like, they can, what if, what if they turn, that could be a, a ill fucking, uh, 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 like main villain of Star Wars for a while. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I really like, hope Claudia Black stays. That main mother, did you, do you know who Claudia Black is? You seen any of her mm-hmm. old shit? Uh, Farscape 
Stargate SG one when Richard Dean Anderson left. She is a I never classic. was into Stargate. Oh, this is classic sci fi stuff. And they pulled her to be the main one. That main one that walks up and starts talking and everything. That's Claudia one of the Black. Great, one of the great one mothers. Of, yeah, yeah, the like head great mother. Where she Yo, is. A this is another thing. Sci-fi. This is another thing. This is another thing that I've thought about. Okay, you think about like, you know, you got the father, the son, and the daughter. Where's the mother? That's Abolith. You feel me? She's in prison. That's Abolith. They imprisoned her. But, but, but I think, think the way to get this, to a witches... prison is in the world beyond or the world between worlds. Say that again. You cut out. I think the way to get to her prison is in the world between worlds. It's got to be that one of the be. gateways to get to her. And that's probably what Balin is searching for. Because there's that there's got to be. be a temple on the on uh, Peridia that would lead to the world between worlds. Yeah, that's probably what he's looking for, honestly. Abolith, they locked her up. So he's trying to find her and break her out. But I bet he's got to get into the world between worlds in order to get to her prison. Mm-hmm. But, you know, but I always I think it's cool, though, that, you know, that the, the think like the great mothers and then the fact that the that Abolith, the mother, uh, you know, is absent and, and locked up, you know, th- it's almost like the great mothers and the in the in the Dathomir witches are on their side is on the, the, the mother's side. Yeah, you know I mean? absolutely. The mother so, is just so, evil. <laughs> so it's like, well, yeah, but I'm saying it's a whole, that's the whole, it's like a whole another part of the force. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and, like you said, because you got the son and the daughter, but they're both dark balance. side and light side. And then you yeah. got the father that's balanced. But then the mother, it's, she's like something completely different. Absolutely. You know I mean? So that could be uh, like between the Dathomir wishes and uh, what's the name? What's her name again? Abolith. Abolith. Um, she was them, their servant. That w- there was just the father, the daughter, and the son's servant. And then she drank from the like thing of knowledge, and she ate <sighs> something of power, and basically became a, a god herself. And so they so locked her away. It's almost like the the Bible story, the Adam and yep. Eve type shit. Yep. Yep. Interesting. Nah, but yeah, that could be a cool, like, if Thrawn dies or something, they could keep going with that, you know? And I think they may be. They may be because they're, you know, obviously they're showing the father, the big-ass Mount Rushmore of all them, you know? And what could be the thing that could help somehow Palpatine returned? (laughs) (laughs) Abolith. They better explain that correctly, dude, man. Because that was the laziest fucking writing ever. That's what pissed me off about the sequel trilogy, bro. Okay, I, you know what? I, I ain't gonna lie. I liked the Last Jedi. Me too. In general, I like yeah. I've rewatched it. I've rewatched it many times. I like the movie. Yeah. You know, I'm. I don't like what they did with Luke, whatever. But like, I like the movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like the, the Rise of Skywalker, though. God damn, they fucked that up bad, man. <laughs> like they could have, they I don't, man. There was they, they you know what they should, they should have never fucking fired Tr- Colin Trevorrow. Probably they should have let him do, done his little script, man. I they don't know. You never know. George that could have been trash too, though. Thing. They should have just bought it and then hired him to keep doing it. Right. <laughs> I know but he the didn't want to, brought... but you have enough money. Right. I don't know, man, but the fact they brought back JJ, like they should have just had JJ do the whole trilogy, you know. But the, exactly. obviously, they, they didn't. They didn't know that JJ was gonna come back, but yeah. they had to. But man, man, the rise of Sky, Skywalker, man, just hurt. <laughs> it hurt. <laughs> yeah. And then when Mando dropped, though, that's what really saved it for me. I think you know what I mean. Like, oh, I loved Mando. Still do, yeah. it's fantastic. I do too. I do too. But like the the way that they handled the first, especially the first season, like they did it so right, and that's what made it so good. You know. I'll put it this way: I never bought a pop in my life until Mando came out, and then I had to get me some Grogu's. Yeah, excuse me, yeah. he was the child on those boxes. My yeah, bad. the child. Yeah, the child. <laughs> I got a I got a black series Grogu with the boxes about this big. <laughs> nice. 
It says the child. I got me an IG-11. Uh, yeah, I got the child uh, eating a frog. The child sipping the cup. I got yeah, me, yeah. You mean the like, funny, the armor. kind of the different animation looking ones? Yeah. Yeah, I know you're talking about. I've seen them. I got quite a few of them. I got the whole little set of all the people that basically protected him. And mm -hmm. rock with them. Hell yeah, hell yeah. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but it was fantastic. It, the Mando is just a whole other thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is, but the, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, the Ahsoka thing, and then Amando together, like, and then the Thrawn movie, like, all those. Obviously, well, obviously, I think we all know and have heard now that, you know, this is all kind of culminating into, like, a Avengers Endgame type situation. Like, you know what I mean? That's kind of the plan. At least that's what's yeah. being said. Yeah. So... I don't know, man. I mean, Thrawn. I mean, I had Thrawn was cool, man. He did good, but the only thing I didn't like about him was that he kept saying an acceptable loss, even though that's a thing he says in the books and shit. <laughs> yeah. But like, like he, like that, that last. That was one of my only gripes with the 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 finale of uh, Ahsoka was like his strategy with with them, like almost in getting onto the ship was horrible. Why the hell didn't he just, like, move the Star Destroyer up, like, 80 feet? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just fucking moving yeah. away from that big-ass uh, 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 Washington Monument. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, yeah, that was the thing that got me. That's it all that okay. do. <laughs> It, you know, at first it was, okay, we have to stall for them, for us to finish getting loaded, and then we can leave. And then they were coming, yeah. and it's like, okay, hey, we're all packed up. And he's like, okay, prepare for yeah. ground assault. No, fucking leave, dude. You just said, you just had yeah. to wait till you were ready. You're ready. That's fucking the whole leave. point anyway. <laughs> yeah. Leave. And he was assault. fucking... I can't... Yo, he did Morgan dirty, bro. And he did... Oh, he he did, did Balin and them dirty, too. But, I mean, he didn't even know them, so I could see why he did that. But, yo, he did Morgan so dirty. Very dirty. Yeah. Yo, but she didn't give a damn. She was like, for Dathomir, motherfucker. For Dathomir. <laughs> yeah, for real. She was like, was fuck cool, it, though. I'll die for Dathomir. Right here, cool. right now. I would have had to put up a little bit of a fight with Thrawn. I would have had to been like, man, really, dude? Come on, man, I got you. I brought you this fucking ring, dude. I just got here, yeah, right? I put a fucking ring on like, it. Like, God like... damn, like, you're about to leave here. You were never going to come back to this galaxy without me. You're really going to fucking right. throw me to the wolves like that? You know? Damn, cool. man. But, you know, then again, in Star Wars, nobody's really dead. Yeah, so, hey, hey. Speaking speaking of nobody's really fucking dead, I love how whenever he found out that the dark troopers were all killed, he said, "Tell the what was it? Uh, put in the captain for accommodation." I mean, he knew they were gonna come back from the dead. Yeah, and Boom. all those stormtroopers, they all knew they were gonna that they, they were, were gonna, gonna die and dead. come back as zombies. They were they were about that life. They were like for Thrawn, for Thrawn, <laughs> for real, for Thrawn. Yo, but I loved how they did the Death Troopers, though. That was cool. Hey. And then I liked the actual Death Troopers at the end with, the, like, the actual Death Troopers that were zombie Death Troopers. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Although <laughs> like the, black, the, the two black ones. Like, there was a couple of them that just kind of, like, stumbled around a little too much. <laughs> it was a little too much. Hey, what? They stumbled around a little too much. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, they, like, like we know you're zombies, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, we get it. We get it. <laughs> yeah, like, like your your eyes are glowing green. So, like, you know, we can tell. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, they they didn't have to do the night of the living dead thing with that, you know. And wh why didn't they, they just been, fucking? They could have been the uh, twenty eight days later type zombies, you know, where they run fucking fast as shit and all that. And why did they just <laughs> stay there to fight them? Why didn't they just fucking leave and just run fast? <laughs> I know. <laughs> why the fuck are they like taking it door by door, waiting for them to break through, and then fucking taking them on? Just fucking run. Just and, and you know what? You can light jog and be okay. <laughs> yeah. Like light jog I can't up believe the fucking that. stairs. I, I can't believe that 
Ezra got on, bro. Like, what kind of shit? How the fuck did Thrawn let that happen, bro? Like, Thrawn was tripping on that last one, though. For real. <laughs> yeah, they didn't like Thrawn damn. at all. No, you know what? But at the same time, the justification, though, is I feel like he's been, he kind of went a little bit crazy, bro. Like, he's not the same Thrawn he was in Rebels. Yeah, he isn't. In Disney, in Disney Star Wars. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, like, he's also he, been trapped there for 10 years. Exactly, and they probably ran out of food and all kind of shit, or at least are almost out. I don't know how long they packed Star, Star Destroyers with full of food, but that's another thing that they talk about on that channel, Generation Tech. Yeah, um, it's like literally like he'll talk about how how they have a certain amount of food and how long it lasts on the Star Destroyer, and he knows like every type of ship ship by by number and, and name and all that. Like yeah, he explains yeah. the politics. It's fucking dope, bro. Check him out, Generation Tech. Definitely will. But yeah, so I don't know. Where do you think it's gonna go from here? I'm hoping it goes to Freddie Prince Jr. You think they're gonna do something with Kanan? I hope so. They fucking better. At least give me a Force Ghost or some shit. Do you? But does Freddie Prince Jr. even look like Kanan? He does. You could definitely see it. I just saw his little yeah. rant from a little bit ago. <laughs> That's the only reason. I mean, I hadn't seen him in like fucking 15 years. It was the last thing yeah. I saw him in, like 10 things I hate about you or some shit. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I just saw him on his little rant and I'm like, I can see him as Kanan. Definitely. Okay. Honestly, yeah, I, had, I haven't seen him since then either. And I'd known about him then. I couldn't picture him as Caden, Caden, and so, but but you know maybe, but I don't know. At the same time, I feel like he might really be dead. <laughs> maybe. But what you know, and but then you know what? I also like how they did uh, Jason Sindola. Um, yeah, they could do a flashback or something. That'd be nice. Yeah, they could have did that. They could have did that. They could have reenacted a little bit more the, of him uh, and Hera. Yeah, or at least like show him the way he sacrificed himself. You know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely. You know, they could have recapped. Actually, they could have recapped the last episode of Rebels. Maybe like a and made a whole episode vision. out of yeah. that. Yeah, they could have done that. But they could do like a Force Vision, like Night Sweat thing for Ezra, and it's Kanan yeah, visiting yeah. him, letting him know like something bad's gonna be happening or some shit. Word. And he's to step up his yeah. Jedi training. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Yo, and, and another thing, Ezra looks just like his fucking dad now. Yeah, he absolutely does. Yeah, you can see that. It, with the beard and the eyebrows and shit. Yo, their casting with Ezra was really <laughs> on point. <laughs> it's really on point. Extremely on point. Yeah. Yo, Gosh. this was the Holocron cast. First episode test run. We're going to do some editing. Maybe make this shit sound cool. Maybe not. Maybe some Maybe. pieces will be released. Maybe some won't. But we'll, we'll tune in 10 Wednesdays, blah, blah, blah. We'll figure it out. Holocron cast, episode one. The Phantom podcast is over. <laughs> All right. Later. <laughs>